Right then, gentlemen, so literally just a short while ago, or technically uh, the video had come out a little bit earlier, uh, TGG has produced his Complete the Sets 2022 list, and I reckon we should probably take a look through it all, because there's a whole batch of skins that we've got to look out for. There's a whole batch of skins that very likely could potentially cause a massive increase in prices for some pre-existing skins. What might they be? Let's go take a look. So, uh, if we just go over to here, here we are. TGG's Top Picks, September 2022, Week 3, Complete the Sets. Here we are. So, uh, I'll just quickly link that to all of you, real quickly. And let's just uh, turn this on. Right then. So... We, uh, not, not, not that long ago, well actually, first of all, get your bingo cards ready because we're going to have to try and figure out what might be picked or not. Um, you can make a wish list if you really want to, but remember, not everything is definitive, right? The list definitely helps its chances of being picked, we could say. We, well, we see that all the time with the likes of uh, the weekly uh, TGG collections, but sometimes a few skins get picked outside of those uh, collections and whatnot. So... Regardless, here we go. So, um, what was I on about? We have made a video fairly recently, the Saturday Skin Showcase. Me and Mr. Micro, we saw a bunch of uh, skins from the 2021 collection, and we thought, after seeing the Desert Raiders AK being accepted, that uh, maybe some of those skins will potentially be picked. Lo and behold... Quite a, quite a lot of those skins from the 2020, uh, 2021 collection are now on this list as well. There are 117 skins in here. <laughs> so uh, Mr. TGG also has a video. I would definitely recommend giving that a nice quick watch just How's to get it. Going, there he is. Hello. <laughs> so uh, give that a nice watch. Get a good idea of what, what's uh, out. Or you can go through all of this yourself. And let's just get going. So remember what we said. Every single skin that's going to be appearing in here most likely will be part of a popular set over the past one or two years. So immediately I can see Azul Boots. Do you remember the joke that we said? Last year we very randomly got a pair of Azul Gloves. I wouldn't be surprised if we very randomly see the Azul Boots being accepted this year, just to carry on that joke. Regardless, TGG was right. That will actually properly complete the whole Azul set. So when you look at all of the collection, when you see all of the bits that have been accepted, you've got your tier 3, your tier 2, you've got your clothing, you've got loads of weapons. you already got your gloves, but we just need the boots. So I could see the uh, sentimental pick of accepting that purely to actually help complete Azul. Now you also got the likes of Berserker Cloak, and I really don't think that has the best of chances, all based on the fact that... Uh, it's a bit too deceptive. We've talked about this quite a lot already, uh, about a month or two ago. We've seen it in-game. It is a bit of a problem, because that's supposed to be a jacket, and half of it isn't visible. So, probably not the best. So, let's just avoid that for now. Um, will it be accepted? I doubt it. But I would like this to instigate Face Punch to probably start uh, thinking about maybe adding a cape or a, or a cloak Cloak would be better. Cloak, an actual cloak item to uh, rust. But let's just move on from there. What is a perfectly fine candidate is the Berserker boots. But that has competition with the likes of Black Gold boots, Copper boots. There's also some Glister boots. Yep, Glister. Uh, Elite Forest camo. Um, if you recall, Elite Forest was the uh, collection that was basically what Forest Raiders was before Forest Raiders came out. So <laughs> it was bought out quite a lot because of camouflage. But then Forest Raiders came out and everybody bought that instead. So, uh, one thing I forgot to, uh, well, I completely, uh, forgot about this. If you recall, we did a, uh, video, Mr. me and Mr. Micro, we did a video showcasing the, uh, potential armour and clothing collections that only need one piece to properly complete all the core pieces. Camouflage. Camouflage only needs tier two. I completely forgot about that. So, uh... Let's just go give that a real quick look, because the clothing is uh, quite expensive. Yes, they are currently sitting at around $18 a piece. I wouldn't be surprised if they go even higher in price if we do see that Tier 2 being accepted. Um, but 
in contrast, the uh, tier three isn't so expensive. That's selling for around a dollar thirty. This is selling for around oh yeah. So this is selling for around two dollars. This is selling for around a dollar thirty. These two very easily could jump up a price if we do see camouflage. Uh, camouflage. <laughs> camouflage. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm over the place there. Camouflage tier two. Um, now corrugated steel kilt. Here's a funny thing, and we're going to see this a lot. There's a lot of independent kilts. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but like, as you know, all the core pieces to a complete, very good set. What's most important out of the uh, tier two? The kilt. So a lot of the uh, skin collections in here just randomly have a kilt. So corrugated steel is one of them. And I'll be honest with you, um, most people don't care that much for the coffee can and the and the vest so the kilt is honestly the main thing that people need for the completely the best set so yep let's just uh let's just accept that let's scroll down and we'll definitely see more of them and as we can see fish road sign pants wow the kilt so uh we did bring this up we uh, me and mr micro would not be surprised if this does get accepted because last year we only had two pieces of fish collection being accepted coffee can vest why was the road sign pants, the kilt, not there? Because it wasn't made. Uh, it wasn't made by then. It was made back in late twenty. What was it? Uh, yeah, uh, November twenty twenty one. So that came out after complete the sets. Well, it's here now. It wasn't accepted during the uh, weekly rustle rotations, but maybe now, maybe now it will be appearing. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does. We of course also have gloves. Um, we already have leather gloves, so I'm not 100% sure if that'll be accepted, but, you know, let's see. Uh, another pa pair of pants. Again, I said, there's loads of pants. That would help, um, because we only have Forsaken Era Tier 3, if I'm correct. So that wouldn't necessarily complete a set, it would just extend it. And this is where we start to see things like that happening. So, uh, Global Delivery Guy. Micro, do you remember that? <laughs> do you remember when you crashed your van in our Saturday Skin Showcase? What a wonderful time that was. Great landing, by the way. Um, so yeah, this wouldn't actually be uh, continuing a set. Rather, it would actually be starting off. Am I correct to say that? We haven't had Global Delivery Armour yet, have we? We haven't had clothing. This would actually start off a set. We have had deployables though, right? I'm going to say no to that. Because that technically wouldn't be completing a set. We can still have boots though. Glister boots version 2. I'm fine for that. But um, uh, in the opposite direction of what uh, global delivery is. We have Knights Templar. One of the uh, skins I thought would possibly be accepted. Because this will 100% complete all the core pieces for the Knights Templar collection. So uh, that would be a welcome uh, addition. We would like that. And uh, all of the pre-existing Knights Templar clothing and armour might jump up a price. Ooh. You know. You get the idea now. So this is where... We could potentially see a whole bunch of things spike up in price simply because the final missing piece will finally be accepted. We as the investors, we need that. We want that. We want to make profits, don't we? So, yeah. And of course, right here, Legendary Chess Plate version 2. Mr. Micro, you definitely look very stunning when you wore that back on Saturday two days ago. So, yes, I wouldn't mind... Uh, if that gets accepted. The legendary gold face mask is all sad and alone. He needs his chest plate friend. But be warned. Be warned. If that gets accepted. Remember what happened with the tempered chest plate. Tempered chest plate sold like 26,000. And it came out like five years after the tempered face mask had come out. Tempered face mask has like four, five hundred in existence. There's 26,000 tempered chest plates. Tempered chest plate came out. In a restaurant, two dollars forty-nine. Now it sits at around a dollar because there's far too many that exist <laughs> in comparison to the face mask. So do be warned. Do be warned. It'll be a very welcome addition because it'll help complete the tier three for that legendary set, and maybe maybe you'll see some more legendary set. But yeah, that would definitely be oversaturated in comparison to the uh, face mask. I've warned you. I've warned you. Now we've got some burlap. Now, I can't remember. Do we have military hoodie and pants that already exists? I mean, it's right here. We'll just look at the collection. Um, right, so I am confused. Why are you making burlap? You want to make hoodie and pants, don't you? It is a bit confusing. If that's the start, if that's the way he wants to go with it, maybe he wants to make a whole lot more, like, uh, 
body armor and all set up and uh, kitted out sort of hoodie and pants after this. All right, that could work. But um, I'm a bit surprised by this. This, it's not hoodie and pants, it's burlap. So do be warned. But we haven't had any burlap clothing in a long time. No burlap skins. No burlap uh, shirt and pants after about a year. I think the last one to be accepted was either Fisherman or Disco. And that's a year ago. So I wouldn't say no. But um, it wouldn't exactly... I, it might increase the value of all the military uh, armour that we have. It could. <sighs> Would it be the same as a hoodie and pants? So let's just quickly uh, see what people are saying. Everybody wants the camo garage... Oh, Donsley. Yeah, camo garage door. I don't know if it's in this collection. We'll see it in a minute. Monument memories. I've got a lot of the face masks. I think that's a good shout. I made a bit of a joke quite a long time back. The monument memories face mask is basically just a big blue grin. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe you want to buy some. Uh, oh, let's not forget there's military boots there as well. Now, nuclear fanatic, Mr. Micro. We already spoke about this. Technically speaking, uh, sorry, uh, nuclear fanatic. So what what happened? We had nuclear fanatic hoodie pants and tier three all appear at the same time in a rustle rotation back in late December. <clears throat> no, early December in 2021. So that was weird. But we never got the kilt being accepted. Well, now it's now's its chance. Maybe we'll see this kilt accepted, and then we have all the core pieces for the nuclear fanatic set. I would hope, <laughs> I really do get the feeling we're probably going to see three, three sets of armour or clothing skins being accepted for this Rustle rotation. The complete the set's Rustle rotation, will it have more than 8? Will it have more than 10? Will it have around 12? Will it have 12 plus? Personally, I would like to see two pages worth. I would like to see two pages worth of uh, complete the set skins. And I want to see at least three different clothing and armour collections. Because there's so much to pick from and, well, so little, so little <laughs> spaces. And in all fairness, we've had a drought. We've had a drought with clothing and armour skins in the, during this summer. We haven't seen that many. Uh, in the in, Literally, in, in August, we had two weeks of no clothing and armour skins. So I would like to uh, be reimbursed with a whole lot more clothing and armour skins now. But back to this. Do you remember Opulent? Opulent was very nice. Came out about two years ago, made by Mr. Duck. Well, it never got its gloves and boots accepted, so maybe we see that pair appear. Phantom boots, if you recall, last year we saw the appearance of Phantom Tier 3. Uh, they came out like two and a half years ago. How long ago did this come out? How long ago did this come out? Oh, that came out earlier this year. Okay. And remember, remember, th that's another thing. When people, when skin creators get some of their old skins accepted, they get a bit motivated to go back to the go back to the collection and make more skins for it. So, with the result that we see from uh, with this Thursday, we're probably going to see some more skins being added to the, to uh, th those collections that get skins accepted this Thursday. This complete the sets rustle rotation. So, keep an eye out for that. Now, pixel hooding pants is very nice, but we've had no armor. We've had nothing. That only starts the set. It does continue the pixel set, which has weapons to, uh, weapons and tools and whatnot. But that's only starting the clothing and the armour. So I'm going to say no to that. Playmaker, we had Tier 2. And we had uh, Hoodie and Pants and Tier 3, if I'm correct. It was a nice set, but I think it's a bit too far back. So I don't think that's going to happen. Now, here's the funny thing. We made a bit of a joke about how... Uh, Renegade has three different versions. Very recently, the creator, Mr. Boris, because I can't pronounce his actual name. <laughs> um, well, his, his, his name's right there, Boris. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, uh, he made a third version quite recently, and now TGG's gone and picked the version two, and only the kilt. So, again, just the kilt will be more than enough. That will definitely still cause a price spike um, for all of the uh, currently existing Renegade uh, skins. So that's good. I'm fine with that. Let's not forget Target Tier 3. But that's not going to complete this set. But it definitely will help progress it. So after this, all we'll need then is Target uh, Hoodie and Pants if this was accepted. So let's see what happens there. Talking about Hoodie and Pants, Toy Collection. So we, are, we don't have the pants and the hoodie. We've kind of been waiting for it. Uh... The toy collection has been very weird. We had, during the beginning of this year, January 6th, we had the Tier 3. And then next month, we only had the vest and the coffee can. 
And then later on, early April, we had the kilt. So it all came out in like different batches in a weird way. Quite a, a good few months ago, we got the hook clothing. Desperately need the clothing to obviously help complete the set. Uh, never came. It never came. So I would like to see it being accepted. But I can just instantly tell loads of people will be like, oh, that doesn't fit Rust. Well, what does? <laughs> so, you know, we just looked at the camouflage collection, right? If camouflage gets accepted, I would like to see the toy collection being accepted, the uh, toy clothing. Now, to be honest with you, I think we'd only get one goofy collection. So, coin flip, either ca uh, camouflage or a uh, toy collection. What do you reckon? What do you reckon is going to happen, guys? I'll leave it to you. And don't forget, I want you to go through all of this list. I want you to make a wish list. What do you reckon will be accepted? Because whilst you, whilst we're going through this, you're going to notice, well, hang on a minute, some of the skins aren't uh, there that I was expecting. For example, Glister Tier 3 isn't here, is it? I thought Glister Tier 3 was going to potentially be here, but it wasn't. Um, but let's point this out. This list isn't definitive. Some skins not in this list could potentially be accepted. But with 117 skins here, l we could probably sit here and say it's quite unlikely. But anyway, training jacket, uh, training collection was fairly popular before the um, uh, blackout set even came out. Uh, a jacket I don't think will cause a price spike for all the current skins. We do also have whiteout jacket and boots. Again, I don't think a jacket will cause a price spike for all the core pieces. Uh, and I did have someone earlier, I had someone earlier say, oh, um, whiteout jacket, whiteout jacket, surely the whiteout, if it was accepted, the whiteout collection would jump up in price, buddy, whiteout collection came out around offline TV era, <laughs> they are, they are, uh, we can go to market statistics, so a little, uh, just a quick little um, oh, items, uh, a nice piece of information to learn, whiteout is some of the most bought out skins there is, Hoodie and pants have an average of 84,000 estimated total supply and circulation. Yeah, they are the second and third highest selling skins ever to appear in Rust. So, uh, even even when we look on the front page every now and then, oh, sorry, you might see Whiteout always appearing. Uh, Whiteout always has demand, but because there's so many in circulation, it never really rises up in price that much. It's always kind of capped. At the prices it always is at. So, yep, yeah, white out. Here we go. Take a look. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it's probably never going to change much. But, you know, if we waited another five years, maybe we'd see some changes. But are we still going to be playing Rust and whatnot? I hope we do. Still fun. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just start scrolling down. We're starting to see some more deployables. Toxic Dragon. Um, I talked about this with Mr. Micro in a video in regards to, do furnaces actually glow? No, they don't. It's just a different emission texture. So, yes, they all emit the same color light. It's just the skin has a different appearance when it's turned on. Bombing collection, yeah, we could see some of that. And now we start seeing some fridges. So I was very hopeful. I really did think we'd see Outer Planets Fridge appearing for the Rust Store rotation in August wipe day. Didn't happen. Now I'm hopeful we see it now. Uh, I would like to see some deployable skins that haven't had skins in a long time. Fridge being a, a great example. Let's not forget vending machine. So toxic vending machine. Good pick, Mr. Micro. That was a great pick to uh, show off for the uh, Saturday Skin Showcase. Table. Table. When was the last table skin that we had? When was the last table skin that we had accepted? Role players need this. Where are we going to stack our lovely things? Huh? What? We've got hardcore mode now. We need to start drawing maps. And we need to have a nice flat table. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually curious. Let's find out. Table. I, I don't think we've had one for like five years. Just parquet table. All right. Here we go. So uh, what's this? Go away. Go away. Table, table, table. We've only had three table skins. And the most recent one was five years ago, 27th of April, 2017. Yeah. And how expensive are they? $10, $25, $15. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what, uh, I wonder if that will sell well. <laughs> I think it will. So, yeah, I would like to see, I 100% would like to see deployables. 
which haven't had skins in a long, long, long time, getting more. So that's another thing that we could keep an eye out for. Um, it would be like, it would definitely be like, well, actually, do people even use tables in Rust? Do they have a necessary use? I, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not like you can use them for stacking things, but role players, role players, ooh, yeah. <laughs> So um, it might sell well, but is it gonna is it gonna end up like uh, the lockers? So we we recently had the uh, Outer Planets locker, and it was the first locker skin after two years, and it's flourished perfectly fine. Even though it sold thirty two thousand, it's flourishing because it, because we're we're very likely not going to be getting another lock, locker skin forever. <laughs> That's a very possible thing. Uh, maybe we will. I don't, we don't know, but by the looks of things currently, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting one this year. And uh, with no other competition, people are going to keep buying out the cheapest locker skin because they lockers do get used a lot. And that's basically what happened before with all the other locker skins. Everybody kept buying out all the cheap ones because everybody uses lockers. They wanted to uh, dress it up and whatnot. And then eventually they all became expensive. And that's exactly what's happening right now with the Outer Planets locker. So, yeah. So we've got some wooden doors. I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> we've got some sheet metal doors. I'm not a fan of them. But we got some double doors. Hey, hey. So double sheet metal door for Doodle. And uh, Bio Integrity. I'm happy for Eva. They will sell very nicely. We have not had a marketable double sheet metal door all of this year. Spray can garage door was already accepted. That's cool. Uh, Atomic. Ah, oh, who remembers Atomic Collection? There was, um, wasn't there some armour for this? And some very cool looking weapons. Yeah, but yeah, that didn't happen. Now we've got, uh, oh, Apocalyptic Armored Door. But we've already had so many Armored Door skins this year. Dragon Horn as well. Looks very cool. But uh, that'll be number 10 this year if they get accepted. But now we look at Armor Double Doors. Glacial Visage. I did talk about this fairly recently. Glacial Visage has appeared quite nicely uh, earlier this year. And uh, no, 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 it was late last year. We've had Molten Visage. But I think either of them could appear. Uh, we could probably get both. But last year we got some Molten Visage picks. I reckon we'll do, I, I do reckon we'll, we would at least see a, a glacial, a, <laughs> I can't speak properly, a Glacial Visage skin. But I think this is the early one. But a double armoured door skin certainly would sell very nicely. And that does glow in the dark as well. It, 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 oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice and blue. <laughs> now there's a bit of a mistake here. Because, uh, oh, remember, Military Armoured Double Door. Good job, Mr. Micro. Great pick there. We showed that off on the Saturday Skin Showcase. But over to here, Outer Planets Armour Double Door. This is a mistake. How is that a mistake? Well, this is the original version. Um, what happened earlier this year, uh, Mr. Quincy and uh, Michael, they made a version too. They made a reworked version, and it was accepted back in March. And I have a video talking about that, um, talking about whether I should invest in them or not. So, yep, yeah, way back in late March, here we are. There we go. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, a small mistake. But just to give you the point of double armoured doors, they are fairly pricey because we don't have any of them. We, we have hardly any. And it's very unlikely we'll see any more. They tend to rise up, in price, uh, rise up in price very comfortably. Very nice investments. That's if we don't see tons of them coming out consecutively, like we have with single armoured doors this year, which has become a problem. Hammer skins! Hammers! 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 We used to see so many of them, but for this year we've only had one. That was the Toxic Hammer, and that wasn't even part of the Toxic Collection. No, it was a separate Toxic Collection. <laughs> I don't know, but we've only had one Hammer skin this year. We have seen hardly any. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you. Where is it? It's uh, February 17, I believe. Uh, nope. Oh dear, oh dear. Is it 24? Is it the... Uh... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> 20, surely it's 20. I, uh, no, oh no, 13, surely it's 13. Okay, maybe we should just look it up. Hammer. Because this is one of the things I've been talking about quite a lot. During this year, we have only had one hammer skin. We've only had one rock skin. Where are they? They used to be very common skins. We used to see quite a lot of them. But no, not this year. So I do think, I honestly do think... The very second we get a new hammer skin in the mar uh, in the rust store, it will probably flourish very nicely. And as you can see, I don't see a single one in the negative because we haven't seen any new ones in such a long time. Everybody's buying out all the cheap ones. 
I need to breathe some more. Sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, Toxic Hammer. Uh, you came out early March. Damn it. That's close. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we've got the likes of uh, Glow in the Dark. Wait, do you Glow in the Dark? I can't remember if you do. It does not. There's a Glow and there isn't a Glow version. I'm a bit confused there. It doesn't say if it does... I'd still look forward to it, but I do know Hammer from Hell will glow. All of the Hammer tools do. We recently just looked at some uh, Hammer, Glow in the Dark, uh, Stone, Hatchet and uh, Pickaxes. We also have Night Farmer which glows. We have Pixel Hammer that glows. I really like Pixel Hammer and I was very sad it wasn't accepted. So yeah, Night Farmer, not a massively popular set, but uh, you know, it's there. <laughs> but uh, look at that. How could you say no to that? But in all fairness, it is kind of blatantly a major reference to a complete to a different game. And does it really fit Rust? Eh, it looks cool. All right, please give me that at least. It looks cool. <laughs> how do I remember? So I've just got someone saying, "How did you even remember that skin came out uh, in March?" <sighs> Buzzy, look at me. Look at my YouTube. Clearly you can tell I'm crazy about the skins. <laughs> I, you, you just remember it all eventually, bud. Once you once you get like stuck in, you can't get out. I'm in too deep, Mr. Jaro. I'm a maniac for the skins. <laughs> so yeah, we do have some great candidates for the... Uh, well, we've got Low Poly. And we've got Low Poly. <laughs> and we've got Rock From Hell. I, uh, I saw Rock From Hell earlier this year. And it does look cool. Nope, 2021. Oh, yeah, we were looking at potential things to show off. I wouldn't mind it. It's just just in time for Halloween as well. That'd be nice. Now, tools. Tools that we haven't seen skins for a long time. Ice pick. Do you remember the last ice pick, uh, ice pick skin that we had? It was back in 2017. Yes, five years since the last one. I believe the last one was Stinger. Yes, I think we've talked about ice pick skins recently on stream. So, yes... <sighs> I'm out of breath, sorry. Tactical, I remember Tactical Collection with the Tier 3 and whatnot, that was cool. Jackhammer, Shimmering Collection, I wouldn't say no, but Shimmering isn't exactly a major collection, but we should also respect that. You're definitely going to see some collections that aren't as popular, but also do get some uh, 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 some acceptances, so, you know, that could happen. Banger Collection, I remember this, this appeared mainly earlier this year, and late last year, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, that's not a bad shout. Glister crossbow. So maybe the reason why we didn't see Glister tier 3 is because there's boots and a crossbow. That's not a bad idea. Metal waves, that appeared late last year. And I think we had, uh, a, uh, we had like a bow and we had another thing, didn't we? So that could happen. Blackout saw? Really? You know what? I completely forgot about this. Yep, this is two years old. The reason why I forgot about this is because we got the Ops Saw. We very recently also just had the Nightwatch Saw. I don't know. Alright, I don't know. Ops Saw is very similar. Nightwatch Saw is pretty similar. But would it still sell well? I'm pretty sure it would. It's got a very nice red tip there as well. That's interesting. But yeah, uh, Quarantine... Ah, Micro, I, f I remembered something. Um, one of the things I wanted to show off was the quarantine uh, large box. I thought that looked really cool. Do you remember that? I didn't I didn't put down the code. We showed off a lot of deployables, so we shouldn't be upset, but quarantine had a really interesting looking uh, large box skin. I thought that would look very cool. But it's not part of this collection. <laughs> Maybe it went to pair. Oh, dear. <laughs> yep, more atomic skins. Uh, we're seeing a whole bunch of stuff now. So Desert Raiders AK appeared in the 2021 collection. It also appears here. Uh, looks like Forest Raiders isn't in this one. But Forest Raiders is a skin that could be appearing not this week's Rustle Rotation, but the week after and the week after that. And the week after that, maybe, I think. The rules are a bit <laughs> a bit funny. Whiteout LR300, no mercy skin. Ooh, maybe. Light oh, okay, so here's something. Look at all of the sniper skins that we have. Two bolt action rifle skins and one, two, three, four, five, six, six L96 skins. Gentlemen, 
I reckon we're going to, at the very least, see a bolt action rifle skin or an L96 skin for this Rustle rotation. We have only seen one L96 skin this year, and that was for the Arctic update in early February. With bolt action rifles, we haven't seen one since Toxic Wolf. Oof, we're definitely going far back there. You know what? Couldn't hurt to take a look. Toxic Wolf. Uh, bolt. Give me that bolt action rifle. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. Uh, have I gone mad? Probably. Uh, I know one of them's called Steel. Steel bolt action rifle. Uh, steel and brass. So I only need to get one skin to then look at all of the data for all of the recent ones. So, yeah. 20 cheaper rifles. We have not seen a bolt action rifle skin all of this year. And the most recent one was... Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Poseidon. Oh, Wait, hang on a minute. Toxic Wolf was never accepted. Have I gone mad? I must have looked at the to Toxic Wolf skin in in the workshop. Sorry about that. I confused myself with a false stat. Oh dear. But yeah, Poseidon came out uh, June 24th. And then we got a, uh, a streamer sniper skin. Okay, you know, that, that's cool. And posty posty as well. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so yeah, it's been almost uh, one, it's been over a year, almost a year and a half since the last bolt action rifle skin, so I would like to see that. It would be nice, but L96 as well, they both serve the same function. L96 is better, we should point that out, but yeah, yeah. And uh, quite a few M249 skins, so three there, and there was the uh, No Mercy, oh, oh no, that's a No Mercy M39. Oh, that's not a bad shout. We don't get many M39 skins. That's not a bad shout at all. Okay, well that's over a year old. That does look pretty sleek. Ooh, how could you say no, chat? Chat, how could you say no? How could you say no? So yeah, we uh, we got one M39 skin this year, and it was Mr. TGG. Wait, was it, la was it late last year or earlier this year? No, it was April. Yep. I'm crazy for skins, I said that. So yeah, um... TGG kind of forced one in. Um, I thought it would sell well. It, it, it As an investment, it hasn't really. It hasn't really. So, a new M39. I don't believe they have great gun demand in-game. So, low gun demand equals lower demand to use the skins equals lower skin prices. Not good investment. So, be cautious. But, No Mercy surely would have a skin accepted for a complete the sets, right? Right? We shall see. We shall see. So, that's everything. So, yep, yeah, just, um, this was the, I think this is the, the early, the mis uh, sorry. I haven't, I haven't, let me drink some water. <laughs> ah. So, uh, I think this was the early mistake. But I can't blame Mr. Uh, TGG. He went through and picked out 117 skins. Um, massive, massive, massive list. And so, I sit here and I ask you people. What do you reckon? What do you reckon will be picked? So I have to pass on the link as well and whatnot, especially for the YouTube video. We've got like two days. Get your bingo cards out. Remember, get your bingo cards out. Start with. <laughs> we'll have to make a sheet so everybody to use in the server, for example. But uh, yeah, we uh, we don't know what's going to be accepted, but we've got a good idea. We've got a lot of skins there, but at most. I reckon we're going to have maybe at most 12 skins for the Rustle rotation. I would expect a bigger batch this time. So, what are you waiting for? Start looking. And you know what? There very well might be a skin in, that's not in this collection, but could still appear. So maybe you might want to make your own collections. But uh, this is usually going to be the list. This is most likely going to be the list. Um... So yes, uh, do be, do be, do remember, sorry, I'm trying to remember what to say. Some of these collections, they're early technically progressing. So it might be complete the sets, but realistically it's progress the sets. So yes, we might see some skins that are only going to uh, progress some sets. But maybe, and as I said, it might instigate some of those skin creators to go back to the set, maybe make some version twos, maybe make some more skins for it. And that's nice. We like that. We like that. 
Rust players, we like to have full collections, don't we? We like to have nice matching skin sets and nice looking loadouts for the whole team. Oh, don't we all want to look cute with each other? <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm I'm sure fish. I'm sure fish. And uh, there's also one there's one thing I didn't mention. I wouldn't be surprised if Black Gold Tier 2 is in this. <laughs> it's not in this collection, but I wouldn't be surprised if it just forces its way in. Um, if not, then the week after. I'm not worried too much about Black Gold Tier 2. I still think we're going to be seeing it this month at some point. Whether it's this week, next week, or maybe the week after. Black Gold Tier 2, if you're worried about it, don't worry about it too much. You know, there could always be a version 2 as well, but Black Gold Tier 2 sold far too much. It's in demand. Why would why would they not do it? So, yeah. I kind of get the feeling they might add it for this. So be prepared for that. Other than that, it's all it's all a guess. It's all, uh, it's all assumptions. What's your list? What's in your wish list? Feel free to say and, uh, you know, have fun. We've got two days to go. Maybe you want to start investing into some of these collections because they might be getting a skin. But... You know, with such a big list, we don't know. So, best of luck. Have fun. I need to uh, rest because I've been talking non-stop for uh, 36 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs>